Walker, in the wake of loss, one Pecos family is asking for change. Adam Ibarra was shot and killed by police in November. This month, the officers involved were not indicted after an investigation into their response. They returned to regular duty. Ibarra's family members hope to never see another family in their position. CBS 7's Hannah Brock met with them and brings us their message. Hannah. Well, Ibarra's mother and brother were at his home when Pecos police came. They say they believe the situation could have ended differently. They also wanted to share who he was beyond the headlines that have surrounded his death. He was uh, musical. He was into his kids. I mean, he just loved his kids. A jack of all trades and talented chef, Adam Ibarra also faced bipolar disorder for much of his life. His family said he was at a low point when Pecos police arrived at his home on a reported ongoing domestic dispute. His mother said she called to warn officers. And I had told him that he was bipolar and then he was, uh, he had seizures and then he wasn't on his medication at the time. And I asked him, I begged him to please not shoot him. She believes those pleas were lost in police communications. Ibarra did have a knife. His brother tried to speak with him. The only de-escalation that I, I feel happened was what I was doing. Ibarra's family wants to see the department seek more training and awareness to respond to people in crisis. Too many of our kids, you know, dads, moms, brothers, sisters are getting killed because the officers, uh, law enforcement do not understand what's happening to them and are afraid of them. His family, full of Pecos natives, feels the loss. Because he used to just pop up. Hey, bro, what are you doing? Hey, come in. I'm outside or I'm barbecuing. Come on. We're watching a game. Uh, you know, so it's, it's, it gets lonely. Pecos Police Chief Lisa Torengo says the department actively trains officers and welcomes new training. A city spokesperson said the area overall lacks mental health resources, but that the city council reviews and has approved some mental health awareness-focused appropriations. Ibarra's family said they will continue to look for change. For CBS 7 First Alert News, I'm Hannah Brock.